Sometimes being a professed Christian is kind of hard, you know, because everyone likes to come right up to your face and tell you exactly why you're wrong, but also it's hard, especially in these times, to know what the Bible says about certain social issues. Well, you no longer need to wonder, so what does the Bible say about pleasing other people? Raise your hand if you're a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, not me. But if I was, then I would know how strenuous it becomes to please every single person. Well, the reality of the situation is, and big spoiler alert here, you can't please everyone. So how do we choose who to please? Are more people more important to please than others? Well, whenever I have a question that I can't answer, I consult the Bible. Or Google, whichever one's more readily available. So, And yes, after only a couple months, we've already reverted back to a shirt I've already wore before. So, oh boy, I need to get a bigger wardrobe. Let's start with Galatians 1.10, where Paul says, Obviously, I'm not trying to win the approval of people, but of God. If pleasing people were my goal, I would not be Christ's servant. But why is pleasing people hard or even contradictory to what God says? Well, I have a story to answer the first part of that question. A man and his grandson are going on a journey, and they have a donkey accompanying them. And soon they pass a fellow traveler who says, That's so stupid, why doesn't one of you ride the donkey? So the man puts his grandson on top of the donkey, and they continue on. That is, until the next man got mad and said, How cruel is it to make this old man walk while this little kid rides the donkey? So the kid gets off, and the grandfather gets on. The next person they met said, I can't believe a grown man would ride a donkey and let this kid just walk around. So the man pulled the boy back aboard and now they're both riding the donkey. That is until they met the next traveler who said, Oh my gosh, two intelligent human beings riding on this little donkey? That's so rude. And so they got off the donkey and the man put the donkey on his shoulders. So they keep walking and eventually they pass another group of people who just kind of look at them weird. And once they pass, those group of people kind of talk to each other and say, Have you ever seen two idiots carry a donkey on their shoulders? Why don't they just ride it? So what are you supposed to get from that? Well, besides all the jokes that I wanted to say involving the other name of a donkey. But also, people are really judgmental. And so are you and I. So because we're all so judgmental, you're never going to please everyone because everybody has their own opinion and eventually you'll be the one carrying the donkey. Trying to please man only leads to situations that conflict with God's teaching. Doing so will carry you into places in your life that you're going to later regret and could eventually ruin your spiritual connection with God. And speaking of judging others, Jesus says in Matthew 7, 1 through 2, Do not judge others and you will not be judged, for you will be treated as you treat others. The standard you use in judging is the standard by which you will be judged. And taking that out of scriptural context completely still makes sense. That's basically saying karma exists, and you're going to get it either in this life or the next one. So as long as you don't judge others, well, you'll be okay, which is a lot harder than you may think. I mean, think about one time today that you saw another person and you didn't judge them. Don't think too hard. I'm just trying to make a point, but you know what I mean. We all judge people, it's just... Something we do because we think we're better than them, or that, eh, hey, I'm nothing like him and I'll show you why. But as long as you don't listen to what the world wants, you'll be fine. But how does the world actually contradict God? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was so hard to say with a straight face. Of course the world contradicts God. I don't know if you've uh, really paid attention or not, but if this world was right here, and a close connection to God was right here, well then, like, as time progresses, the world just goes pew, just all the way down. I popped my back a little bit when I did that. That felt good. So when you listen to people who aren't of Christ, you're going to get a little lost. Your heart and other people's hearts are not to be followed. Yeah, the cliche is to follow your heart, but don't follow the fruity taste that shows. See, Jeremiah 17, 9 says, The human heart is the most deceitful of all things, and desperately wicked. Who really knows how bad it is? But I, the Lord, search all hearts and examine secret motives. I give all people their due rewards according to what their actions deserve. And boy, does that ruin, like, 
every chick flick in Disney cartoon ever. But more on the topic of following your heart and everything, go to that link in the description. It's, it's a really good read, trust me. All right, so let's do a recap in three, two, one. Listen to God. That's it. That's all you really need. So what was my act of random kindness? Lately, I've been feeling kind of a calling to thank the men and women who are in service for us, whether that be the Army or the Air Force or the National Guard or whatever they are, the uh, police department, the fire department, the uh, doctors who are around. I just, I felt like they need me to say thank you for everything you do. And, and I think that's something that we all should do no matter what anyways. Because, well, they're putting their lives on the line and, you know, a lot of their hours on the line and basically, well, I guess, yeah, basically their life on the line to help protect us and keep us safe. And I just think that that's a huge, huge thing to do. And I think the, the smallest amount that we can do besides paying for all their, you know, wages with our tax money is to thank them. Thanks for watching and I'm so glad I didn't have to say Easter this time. Crap. So if you found this episode intriguing and you want to go see more, go ahead and hit subscribe so you'll be immediately notified when the next video comes out, or go ahead and go to my channel right now and look at the ones that are already up. So a couple months ago, I started a thing called the Action of the Week, where we as Christians go out and do some act of random kindness, which is a reference to Evan Almighty. I will be doing it as you saw, and I hope you will too, and if you want to let me know, go ahead and let me know in the comments right there. I would love to know. God bless, and may the Force be with you. Hi, Mom. That is until they met some, that is until they met the next tr Gah. For you will be treated as you treat others. For you will be treated as you treated others. I just read that. You need to follow your nose, the fruity taste that shows, or glows, or something. I don't know. Well, recently I've been feeling a kind of a calling to thank the men and women, uh, whether it be military, police officers, firemen, Fire.